Hello, I'm John Frawley and I am a John Frawley who is very pleased at having been invited to take part in this year's annual conference of the Romanian Astrologers Association. This is being held in Bucharest on November the 2nd and 3rd. And my part in this is to give a day workshop on the Saturday, which is entitled Practical Horary. Now, horary astrology is by far the most useful branch of astrology. Natal astrology is an absolutely fascinating and beautiful study, but it's not much use. It's a bit like the Mona Lisa or a Bach Sonata. It's wonderful and our life is enhanced because it exists, but the Mona Lisa is not a great deal of practical use unless you've got a damp patch on your wall that you need to cover up. For the immediate issues that we want answers to, well, horary is the way of getting this. Will I get the job? What does she think about me? When will the cat come home? And various others, more and more. And the range of horary questions is just endless. I've been doing this as my full-time job for rather more than 20 years now, and I'm still regularly astonished when I get a question that I've never heard of before. Oh my goodness me. And yet the chart can answer them. And it is quite astonishing how it does this, with what precision and with what accuracy. Now, as I said, the title of this workshop I'm giving is Practical Horary, and the emphasis is on the practical. I really don't like the sight of an audience falling asleep in front of me, so I tend to stay away from the long theoretical lectures. This is practice, practice, practice. We're going to be looking at a lot of charts on a wide range of different subjects and with a lot of involvement from the audience asking questions and getting answers, because this is how you learn things. It's like learning to drive a car. You don't learn to drive a car by reading a book. You learn to drive by sitting behind the wheel. And so this is what we're going to be doing in this workshop, actually working on charts. And as I say, a very wide range of subjects, questions about jobs, work, money, romance, lost objects. When will this or that thing happen? And timing is often a very important part of horary. And it's amazing how accurately horary can time things. Well, it's not usually relevant to time things to the minute, but it has on occasion timed things to the absolute minute, which is, hmm, yes. And also the fact that horary gives us this precision from a moment which one might think is completely random, the moment at which somebody asks a question of an astrologer. This challenges our perceptions of life and of how the universe is constructed, of what our place in God's creation really is. And I found it an incredibly broadening experience because I can see this working and how it has led me forward in my understanding and my spiritual beliefs. Trying to make sense of this, how does this marvelous thing exist? And yet it does. And the way horary works, it's not by some kind of intuition, tuning in to the psychic waves. Not at all. It's by clear, objective logic. Now, I know in many areas in the world of astrology, logic is something you really shouldn't talk about. And I've been told off many times for talking about logic, particularly when lecturing in America. Uh, logic is something we shouldn't use. But if we don't use logic, all we have left is our own assumptions about things. And our own assumptions about things are very, very limited. Logic enables us to step beyond this. And it's remarkable how it allows us to judge the chart. For example, there's a chart I use in my courses, which is a chart, question a friend, phone me. I'm traveling abroad this afternoon. I can't find my passport. Now, I give this question to my students. I don't tell them anything more about the situation than that. And yet, from following simple rules, they can see exactly where the passport is. And it's not in any of the obvious places. It's not in her desk drawer or in her handbag or anything like that. It's in somewhere where you would not expect a passport to be. And yet, every one of my students finds this and finds it quite quickly. Remarkable. And so this is what we're going to be looking at. 
it's going to be educational you'll learn a lot and it's also going to be entertaining because another great thing about horary is it's fun and we will have fun an entertaining day of learning which is what appeals to me and i hope it appeals to you too and i hope i shall be seeing you there and until then well goodbye from a very pleased john frawley looking forward to traveling to bucharest a country where i've never been before and it's always fascinating to see a new place a new culture meet new people and it'll be good bye for now